Welcome back, YouTubers. I got some exciting news for you. Well, huh, that's exciting news for me, not so much for you. Can't wait to tell you. Disclaimer This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not attempt this at home. Vitiated how to will not be responsible because you decided to be a cheap ass and not hire professional. On with the show. <laughs> Well, now that you're back, let's hear the exciting news. As of late, the new, um, I don't remember what they are. They go by jelly beans and all kinds of other garbage. Shelby, leave me alone. I'm busy. You see how I'm trying to piss somebody off? Calm down. Shelby. She wants attention, so. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. See? You see I'm doing something? Now leave me alone. Ah, fucking dogs. All right, back to what I was saying. Samsung has done something that is pretty much unprecedented as far as cell phones go. But, so now they no longer have to tell you they're selling your information. They just do it. What I'm talking about is Facebook and Samsung has struck a deal. And this recent, what is it? The, um, whatever the jelly bean thing is or whatever, the recent um, update that Samsung done has really pissed everybody off because you no longer can uninstall Facebook app at all without jailbreaking it. So that means you're stuck with Facebook, Samsung people. Soon as, as soon as Apple does it, I'll throw it in the garbage too. I don't use Samsung at all, my wife does. And she went to try to delete it because the app was messed up and the app won't delete. So I did a little research and a little research and come to find out Samsung and Facebook have struck a deal to where every Samsung phone that's a smartphone that is sold from the last update forward will have Facebook on it as one of their utilities. And you cannot delete it, like I said, without jailbreaking the phone. So that means... Mark, bitch boy, zucka bitch, it's going to have all your information, and there ain't a goddamn thing you fuckers can do about it. Which is pretty messed up, because he spent all those days in court trying to tell the um, Senate what was going on and everything, and the whole time he was trying to strike deals with all the um, cell phone companies. And from what I can tell so far, Samsung is the only one that's doing it. I could be wrong. You know how everything changes day by day, but that right there tells me that Samsung is not for the consumer anymore. Samsung is for the dollar people. The dollar people are the motherfuckers that are paying for the stocks, that own stock. So, just when you thought Facebook couldn't get no worse, you guys have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with it because I ain't got the phone. And if it ever comes to that, I'll go back to a flip phone. I don't really care. It doesn't make me none. I can take one of these phones and put it on airplane mode and make sure there's no Wi-Fi or nothing it can ever do and make my videos and upload them to the computer. Because I figured out ways how to get past um, Bill Gates' little bitch ass and his trying to sell everybody's information. I've gotten past that to where I'm pretty cautious about it. Ain't got away with, ain't got around the damn YouTube thing yet, because YouTube's still doing it. They say they don't, but YouTube is still doing it too. All the social media, any social media that is free is selling your information. But I'll tell you the top ones that are selling your information, just in case you wanted to know Microsoft. Number one. Number two, Facebook. 
Facebook will sell everything. And funny enough, since we're talking about Facebook, I get in trouble all the time. Hell, you guys see me on YouTube get in trouble all the time. Facebook is starting to let um, nudity be put in their ads. They was It was a cartoon of a girl having sex with a guy on one of their ads. Funny enough, it was just a side note that was funny to me. Because something like that, I'd get banned for it for 30 days. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So Facebook is number two. Number three is Sirius Satellite Radio. Them clowns will sell your information as soon as you cancel your subscription. Your information is sold. I tell you why. I rented a car one time. Well, my wife rented a car in her name, mind you. It was a Dodge Caliber, 2008 Dodge Caliber. It was in her name. She rented it. I had satellite radio. So, I figured, why not? We can put it on there for a week. Because the week was like $12. I only needed it for the weekend. So, I paid for $10, 12 whatever it was. And when we turned the car back in, I canceled it. Well, I don't know, about a year later... When all the um, car warranty shit got that ah, garbage started, lo and behold, I get a phone call. Yes, we'd like to tell you about your Dodge Caliber. Da, 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 da. So I called them up and complained about it. Made them take all my information out of the system, and they still sell my information. So those are the top three that are doing it. I know it got a little sidetracked, but. I just thought it was kind of funny that y'all got all these Samsungs and say all this and all that because the Droid, Android, is almost like an open source program and it's really easy to hack and everything else. That's why so many companies use it. So it's, it's an easy operating system. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got offended, get over it.